Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Tuesday market webcast. Okay, so the 200-day exponential moving average is held here. They weren't able to close above it. They actually had a pretty solid down day below it. Uh, we're below the nine-day now, uh, and it looks like it's returning to the bottom of the zone. Your 100-day exponential moving average sitting right around 39.26. You got the daily mid-band of the 20 coming up to meet that. So you get any kind of weakness today that wants to push through over the next day to two days, um, heading into a little bit of inflation data on um, on Thursday and jobs on Friday. Uh, you know you could see it continue to push down. We just saw a little seven eight handle drop there um, at eight o'clock, going into eight fifteen. Um, German CPI came out. Um, Still, they're still sitting at 10%. Um, it's a little bit of an improvement, but the, the tape didn't like it. Um, hourly mid. Okay, hourly chart, rather, he tried to say. So yesterday, we had the consolidation through the holiday. Expanded to the downside, gap down Sunday night. It sealed off weekly pivot and sealed off the hourly mid here, uh, you know, right around noontime. And it had a nice solid push downward, just kind of bled out over the course of the afternoon. Came back up to test the nine day overnight and it held um, you know, right into, into Europe open. And now I'll be interested to see if they can take out yesterday's low down at 39.60 quarter. If it does, like I said, it opens up areas like 39.35 and here's your 100 day down here, 39.27 and change. So the bears have an opportunity. They are acting well, they are they are turning things into resistance in a way that they should if they want to control the tape this week. Weekly pivot, hourly mid-band, nine day, um, winning the expansion, not allowing the gap fill, I can go on and on. They've, they've behaved very well this week. Uh, if that's gonna continue today, gotta hold the nine day, take out the prior day low, start exploring, exploring trying to get down, to the low from Tuesday, which like I said, is right down around, uh, it's actually, it's 45 quarter. That's not, uh, that's not asking a lot, uh, considering the low from yesterday was 39.60. What do the bulls need to do? You gotta get this all back. And when I say all of it, you need to start closing above weekly pivot. You've done it before. I mean, you can do it again. Um, I said in the room yesterday, and I continue to feel this is the case, the bears are having a lot of trouble taking the market down without news, uh, at least in the regular session. They seem to be okay in a vacuum overnight, but when the bell rings, if they don't get some piece of news, like there was a lot of Fed speak out there yesterday and that really weighed on the tape in the afternoon. Unless you're getting proactive negative stuff out of that news feed, the bears have had a tough time taking it down. Now, on the flip side, when the bulls have had opportunities to take the market up, they've done absolutely nothing to try to execute anything to the upside. I mean, honestly, since, uh, since Wednesday. So they flatline through the holiday, not unexpected, and they're getting owned at least Monday into Tuesday. So where do we close relative to the, to the weekly pivot? Does hourly mid today, does it want to be resistance or does it want to be support? And is the nine day really that solid? Those are all questions that I'm looking for answers for. And can we close below this low at 39.60 and change? All right, volume weighted average price, proprietary moving average, and the five minute mid band are all jammed in right 79 to 80. Uh, hourly mid right now is at 78. So 78 to 81, if you get any kind of a pop off the open, how price reacts to that area is gonna be really, really important. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well. Come check out the room. See you tomorrow.